Hi, I'd like to share with you some of the airplanes I'm, I've been working on. I uh, recently built this little model a rubber powered airplane. Here's another one. It's a little bit bigger. That uh, recently built, rubber band powered, but I am going to put a, a rudder and elevator on it and uh, turn it into electric power once I get a few uh, rubber powered flights out of it. And here's another rubber powered airplane. Here's some uh, oh, airplane pictures I have from World War One up on the wall. Here's an airplane toy box from uh, that I've built. I built several of these airplane toy boxes. Kids from ages one to seven can sit in them and and uh, pretend they're flying. It it goes up and down like a rocking chair or I mean rocking plane, rocking horse. It's a rocking plane is what it is. It's an airplane toy box. When the kids get out uh, of the airplane and you put all your toys in it. So I have a little on-site online. Uh, website called TJ's Flying Circus named after my son and we build these together and I build these in the vets uh, help me build these as well. Go on into my workshop and I'm a third generation aircraft owner, pilot, and aviation enthusiast. There's from the 1940s my grandpa's uh, uh, Lincoln Page airplane and here I have uh, some pictures, uh, well it's hard for you to see, but pictures of several of my uh, dad's airplanes. Here's an airplane that uh, I actually I owned for 30 years. It's a picture with my wife and I at the, uh, well, at the Ames Airport. There was a hundred air coops there uh, and I got uh, first place for having the best restored uh, airplane type. Uh, go on into here, and uh, here's a radio control model airplane I'm building. Here's one that's complete, ready to fly. When the summer comes, it's gas-powered engine. You fly out at a model airplane field. We have the Cambridge Airport here, a little grass strip. Here's a balsa wood model airplane that I'm uh, working on, a little balsa air coupe that uh, I will uh, make into a radio-controlled electric powered airplane. And here's a real interest, a passion that I have is to make these little peanut scale models uh, that just fit right in the palm of your hand. And I'll actually take these two pieces of scrap wood and they'll end up being the fuselage for this uh, little peanut scale model airplane just made out of balsa wood. And the wingspan will end up being uh, 10 inches. And I'll fly this in my uh, church or in indoor spaces. Back into my workshop. Uh, here's where I work on. My workshop is very dirty right now, but uh, I have uh, different pictures and ideas for airplanes. Here's a, my first uh, uh, radio control airplane, a little Trickster Bean. This is the airplane that I fly mostly at my church. It's a little foam uh, electric powered airplane. And here's another, here's another one I have in case that one breaks. So I've uh, got uh, lots of flight time uh, indoors at my, at my church with these and it's a, it's a blessing to be able to have that uh, indoor space to fly these planes. These are some of the projects I'm working on, and I'd uh, be happy to share uh, any ideas and thoughts. I have lots of tools, parts, uh, balsa wood, uh, receivers, uh, servos, and uh, components to help uh, you get started. And if you're interested in contacting me, uh, I'd love to talk to you and, and brainstorm and barnstorm with you. Happy flying.